Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So it's booby day. I have been wanting this since I was a little fetal, a little sperm. I have been wanting a boob job. So today is the day that I'm gonna vlog my recovery and how I'm feeling and how I'm doing, how my titties are looking. I need to do my hair because I can't shower in two days and I don't want to look crazy for two days. So I'm just gonna curl my hair really, really quick. Oh my god, are you excited? I am. Girl, I've been wanting to since I was little. <laughs> we can just see. I still think she's crazy, but I'm here supporting this crazy girl. <laughs> no. It's Your little song. Show them your. So now they're gonna sh see my vagina. <laughs> my crack. <laughs> and I didn't shave. Your hairy vagina? And I didn't shave. <laughs> <laughs> your toes. <laughs> I had to take my nail polish off. You can't. Here we have Jessie. She's ready to go inside. To get some new titties. So this is my titty before. <laughs> Show them the real deal. The real no no no. I'm very flat chested. Look, <laughs> there's nothing here. <laughs> this shit hurt. So she got it, the IV sedation. I've never had that thing before and Did it, it hurt? hurt. Really? It hurt. I don't even want to move my hand. And it's very cold, huh? Yeah, my hand's cold. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's cold. Oh my gosh. So, yeah. She already talked about the post-op and then the surgeon's about to come in and the anesthesiologist. And that's it. And she's gonna come out with new melons. What do you think? <laughs> new year, who you? New, new year, new me. 2020 is my year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Poor Yanacy is so hungry. I don't want to leave her. How long have we been here? Almost two hours. Two hours. And they still haven't taken you in. Like, I'm just trying to get it over with. Ooh, what I are you gonna really eat? Be in what are you gonna eat? Party canes. Canes? Oh, I hate That's you. Your rib cage here is a little higher, and you can see it on this side. Whereas on this side, it gives out a little bit more. Okay? through all this already right it's time to go to surgery get it done we'll do it very right we'll do it very safely okay and take very good care of you okay yeah so jess is about to go about into to her surgery in. he came in already and you see recorded on the very bad Sorry. angle <laughs> so we're gonna have to see the video really crooked but he did the lines where he's gonna position the boob like that Oh, I can't move the other hand. <laughs> but you get the point. I'm excited. We're about to go in. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Jesse. Yeah. See you later. Hungry? I already ate. Oh. What'd you eat? Canes. You feel good now? How are you feeling, Jesse? Good. I'm just cold. <laughs> I'm here with Jesse, so everything came out great. Jesse, huh? Are you awake? Sleeping. <laughs> What's your pain level right now? Zero. Zero. Look at work out on my boobies. Really? Does it feel like really sore? Really sore. Soreness? So we're just waiting for them to dispatch us. I'm ready. 
to go home. You ready to party tomorrow? I don't know. Yeah. It's New Year's Eve. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> you don't want to party and drink? No. I'm ready to sleep. <laughs> She's so sleepy. Do you want to tell us a funny story? Um, <laughs> a funny story? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to share? Um, I cannot remember. You can't remember anything? anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have boogers? story mm -hmm. anything you want to share uh, when I sharded <laughs> in sixth grade <laughs> I was walking home and I couldn't hold it in so I just shit it on myself <laughs> We're going home. Mm. How does it feel with your new tits? I'm so sleepy. <laughs> Girl, we're about to jam. Are you ready to jam out? Mm. Poor Jessie, she's so knocked out. <laughs> she kept repeating a lot of times if the surgery had gone for too long. Take my time. So I've been home about two hours and oh girl i'm just super sleepy from the anesthesia yeah other than that i don't feel any pain right now it's just not even pressure i just feel like i worked out and i did push-ups like 20 push-ups and i'm just sore from my boobs that's about it I probably don't feel any pain because I have the anesthesia. They told me I'm not able to eat any solids today, just liquids. So like soups. Um, what else is, I don't even know what else is liquid. So I'm probably going to order a soup right now because I, I don't feel like making my mom, you know, cook or anything. My voice is really raspy. Probably because I had like a little tube, you know, they put oxygen on you and she told me I was going to have a tube. It doesn't hurt, but it's just very raspy. So, what are you going to want to drink? There's apple juice, orange juice, apple juice. El apple juice, mira, there's apple juice, de manzana. Mm -hmm. Apple juice? Or do you want the orange juice? What? Um, orange Uh-uh-uh-uh-uh Your wish is my command You funny. You is my idol. <laughs> you crying? Baja llorar, Jesse. Nobody ever told me how bad it was gonna be to pee. What the fuck? <laughs> I had to pee in sections, so I was like, psst, psst, psst. <laughs> Así es más. No, mucho. Es suficiente. No, es mucho. Pues, sigue te la tomada poquito a poquito toda la pinche noche, la verga. My sister went to the store and bought me a lot of juices. She bought me orange juice, apple yeah, juice. Okay. What else did you buy? Orange juice, apple juice? Orange juice, apple juice, and this chocolate milk. Plant-based protein. And chocolate milk. <laughs> From Whole Foods. And my boyfriend brought me mm -hmm. soup, Mexican soup. I always wanted to be sick so I can drink this soup because when he was sick he drank it and it was really good. 
<laughs> but I've been sleeping most of the day. I've been relaxing, bitch. It's been feeling real good. <laughs> I've been feeling real sleepy, but actually, no pain. It's just like I worked out a lot and I'm used to soreness. So it doesn't feel that bad. So I just woke up today for like the 10th time and I finished the soup that my boyfriend brought me yesterday. It was real, real good, girl. Um, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to eat till like later and I stopped taking my nausea, nausea, nausea pills and I feel so much better. Like I have no pain. I just feel the pressure on my boobs. I'll keep you guys updated on how I'm feeling. Right now it's currently 11.57 a day after my surgery so technically it's gonna be 24 hours after my surgery and I'm feeling pretty Pretty good pretty good. Let's see. Hopefully it stays like that because I don't want to get sick I don't want to feel any more pain um, Not that I'm feeling pain, but I just don't want to feel pain at all. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to update I slept really good. I keep sleeping and I keep sleeping really really good. Just woke up. It's currently 716 oh that's bright it's 716 i've been up on and off since like 3 a.m um i woke up thirsty because i've been sleeping with my mouth open for no reason and i never sleep with my mouth my mouth open and my mouth gets really dry so i wake up and then i need some water and then i go back to sleep and then i woke up again like at five and then i woke up again right now because my mom was like you need to take your pills so i went to go take my pills and i woke up feeling better than yesterday yesterday i threw up once my boyfriend bought me soup and once i smelled the soup bitch that was over like i went to go throw up immediately and before the soup i had ate like a liquid yogurt so i threw up the whole liquid yogurt i'm not on bed rest like you're supposed to be walking every like two hours just a little walking back and forth just to get you know your flow going i'm just gonna lay here for a little bit i'm gonna walk around later on and yeah so far i've only ate yesterday the liquid chobani yogurt which is a liquid one with strawberry and banana that felt really good because i was so hungry i had not ate anything yesterday since midnight yeah that's pretty much it i woke up feeling a little bit of pressure like right here on the top of my boobs on the sides um they feel a little bit pressure and i've been nipping because it's pretty cold right now yeah i've been nipping and my nipples i do feel them so some people lose sensitivity temporarily when they get their boob job but not me girl i feel these nipples i feel them okay and i am wearing my compression bra you see they did give me they provided the compression bra for me i don't know what this is but i don't want to take it off yet I can't shower today. I have to shower 48 hours prior to the surgery. So I have two days of me smelling a little funky. Pretty much all I have to say right now. If I feel any type of pain or discomfort or something different, I will update you guys. But right now, I'm feeling good. I might just take another nap after I finish watching these videos. <laughs> so it's day three and i just realized i have not shown you guys what my boobs look like so i'm going to show you guys right now they still haven't dropped they still haven't like completely set to place they're supposed to be in place by week six in a week i should not be feeling any more pain so yesterday um i was feeling a lot of pain in my back i think i was standing for too long because it was new year's eve you know family gets together so my sister and my aunt came over i'm a little bloated because i have not pooped I need to take my um, stool softener because I have not pooped since the day of the surgery, which was three days ago. That's pretty much it. I have not been feeling too much pain. Only today, it's only on the sides of my boobs, like right here on the sides. Here is how my boobies are looking. Um, they still haven't dropped fully. And the gap right here, they still haven't came together. Let me try to see if I can show you guys my scars because I just saw them right now and they look very small and I'm very shook. I'm very shook. You see, I'm a little bloated because I have not pooped, girl. That is one of the scars and that's the other one. I look super squared. <laughs> I look so squared. 
but yeah that's pretty much it um i'm gonna update you guys whenever i poop because i know this is a constant thing when you get surgery and you get anesthesia you are like constipated so i'm gonna keep you updated and yeah that's pretty much it so it's currently day four i took a sh really quick shower because they told me i have to limit my showers to 10 minutes so i showered very quick my hair my body um i made sure i washed everything with the antibacterial soap because i don't want to get an infection or anything yesterday i fell asleep with a really bad migraine i had such a bad migraine and i woke up with a migraine again so i stopped taking the hydrocodone that they gave me and i started taking ibuprofen the one that my mom has versus 800 milligrams but i split it in half and it was 400 milligrams and it helped a lot with the pain and the headache so i'm just gonna stop taking the hydrocodone because i'm also still constipated like i look like i'm pregnant i still am very constipated look look at my stomach it's just so i'm so constipated look at this i have so much on the side um but the boobs are doing good they're still swollen still a little separated the skin was very shiny so i shiny and dry so i applied some CeraVe moisturizer that's fragrance free i don't have any pain i I haven't had any nausea since the first day. I only threw up once, which was the day that I came back from the surgery. So I haven't taken any nausea pills. I'm going to stop the hydrocodone and everything else. I'm just going to keep going as it is. And hopefully my boobs drop as soon as possible. And they get to place as soon as possible. Because I'm just trying to wear something cute already. You know what I mean? I did an update earlier talking about how I was constipated. And it's currently 4 p.m. today. And I finally was able to poop you guys. If I was to do a surgery again, I wouldn't even think about doing it anymore because the constipation afterwards, it's fucking real. Like that shit hurts. My stomach felt like menstrual cramps, but 10 times worse. It was so fucking bad. I wanted to scream. I wanted to cry. I felt like I was giving birth to a lot of shit. I'm going to rest the rest of the day because I have been trying to shit the whole day that I've been walking back and forth to like exercise. But it wouldn't come out so now that i did i'm gonna rest i'm gonna sleep i can't wait because i'm tired